日本に住んでいる外国人として日本語が話せることが必要だと思います。みなさん、こんにちは。Welcome back to 日本語。元気ですか ?I hope you're doing well. This is part two of みなの日本語 Intermediate Lesson 11. Before we begin, make sure to check out part one of this lesson. In this video, we will learn about the following grammar points. First, we will learn about nani nani toshite. We will also learn about nani nani zu ni or nani nani zu. And we will also learn nani nani te iru to indicate one's experience and so on. Hai, junbi dekta ra, hajime masho. Our first grammar point is nani nani toshite. Noun toshite. Pattern indicates the position, role, or function of a noun. This means as a noun or in the role of a noun, nani nani. How do we use this pattern? We simply add toshite after a noun. For example, gaikokojin, a foreigner. Gaikokojin toshite as a foreigner. Another example, home office or home office. Home office toshite as a home office. And last example, natsu no shuto or summer capital. Natsu no shuto toshite as a summer capital. Followed by something. So let's take a look at some examples on how to use this pattern. For example, as a foreigner, we should respect the culture and follow the rules of the country we are visiting. Here we have a noun, foreigner. So, as a foreigner, meaning as a role of a foreigner, this is what we should do. We say, gaikokujin. So, foreigner is gaikokujin. Plus, toshite. As a foreigner, hoka no kuni o otozureru toki ni wa. When we visit another country, sono kuni no bunka o sonke shitari. We should respect the culture of that country. Kisoku wo mamottari shinai to ikenai. And we should follow the rules of that country. Gaikokojin toshite hoka no kuni o otozureru toki ni wa sono kuni no bunka o sonke shitari. Kisoku wo mamottari shinai to ikenai. Another example. I use the extra room in my house as a home office. In this example, we are describing the use of another thing. So, the room, other than being just the room, we are explaining its other purpose. In this case, the room is used as a home office. Extra room wa, the extra room, home office, home office plus toshite. As a home office, skaimas. Extra room wa home office to shite skaimas. Next example, Greece has become known as the summer capital of the world. Here, to shite means known as or famous as nani nani. In this case, famous as the summer capital, we say Girisha wa. Greece, natsu no shito, natsu no shito, summer capital, toshite, as a summer capital, sekai ju ni shirarete iru. Girisha wa natsu no shito toshite, sekai ju ni shirarete iru. Our next grammar point is nani nani zu ni. This is similar to verb nai de. Meaning without doing verb nani nani, but nani nani zuni is used more in writing and it is more formal. So how do we use this pattern? So we have the verb in nai de form. We simply remove nai de and replace that with zu or zu ni. Sometimes we can remove ni. Okay, so verb zu ni without doing verb. For example. Tabenai de without eating, we say tabezu ni. However, if it's in group three verb or nani nani suru, instead of zu ni, we say 
se zu ni. For example, ben kyo shinai de, or not to study or without studying, we remove shinai de, we add se zu ni. So, ben kyo shinai de becomes ben kyo se zu ni, without studying. Here are some examples on how to use this grammar point. Our first example, father went to work without eating breakfast. We say, otousan wa asa gohan wo, our verb is to eat or not to eat, tabenai de, without eating. We change this to, tabe zuni, we remove nai de and replace it with zuni, without eating. Shigoto e ikimashita. Otousan wa asa gohan o tabezu ni shigoto e ikimashita. She passed the test without studying. Kanojo wa. Our verb is to study or not to study. Benkyo shinai de. Without studying. We remove shinai de. Benkyo. So this is group 3. If it's group 3, we use sezu ni. Benkyo sezu ni. Gokaku shimashita. Kanojo wa benkyo sezu ni gokaku shimashita. Another example. I was just relaxing, not doing anything during summer vacation. Natsu yasumi wa during summer vacation, nani mo, nothing. Our verb is suru or shimas, which in this case is not to do, shinai de. So we just simply change it to sezu or sezu ni. We can remove ni, so it's optional. Natsu yasumi wa nani mo sezu, uchi de nonbiri shiteita. Nonbiri shiteita means to just um, relax and do nothing. Natsu yasumi wa nani mo sezu uchi de nonbiri shiteita. Next example. I want to be able to watch anime without reading the subtitles. Jimaku wo. Jimaku means subtitle. Jimaku wo. Our verb is yomanai de. Yoma. Plus, zuni, yomazuni, without reading, anime o mitai desu. I want to watch. Jimaku o yomazuni, anime o mitai desu. Our next grammar point is nani nani zu. This time, this is used to indicate cause or reason. This is similar to the pattern verb nakute nani nani which is used to indicate the cause or reason for something. However, this is used more in writing. So meaning, do not do verb A and so B. Meaning the reason for B is A. We first learned about this pattern, the giving the cause or reason followed by the result from beginner lesson 39, which is verb te or verb nakute followed by the result. For example, jishin no news wo kiite. I heard the news about the earthquake. Bikkuri shimashita. And so, I was surprised. So, first statement is the cause, and then the second statement is the result. So, this means I was surprised when I heard the news about the earthquake. How do we use this pattern? We just change verb nakute. We remove nakute, and then we replace it with Zu. Verb nakute becomes verb zu, followed by the result. Again, if it's in group 3 verb, we say sezu. We remove shinakute and then we replace it with sezu. For example, the potential verb shabere nakute, couldn't speak. We say shabere zu. So we just remove nakute. Shabere nakute becomes shabere zu. Couldn't speak and so 
This is what happened. Another example, aenakute, couldn't meet. It becomes aezu, couldn't meet, and so this is what happened. So let's take a look at some examples. For example, I couldn't speak English at all when I went abroad, and so I had a hard time. We say, kaigae itta toki. When I went abroad, ego ga zenzen. Our verb is to speak, shabere nakute. Shabere nakute, we remove nakute, which leaves us with shabere plus zu. I wasn't able or I couldn't speak and so, komarimashita. I had a hard time. Kaigai e itta toki, eigo ga zenzen shaberezu. Komarimashita. Another example. I couldn't meet my friends, so I'm sad. Tomodachi ni. Our verb is aenakute. Couldn't meet, so we say aezu. Sabishi desu. Tomodachi ni aezu sabishi desu. Because I couldn't meet my friends, I'm sad. We can also use zu if there are two nouns that are contrasting each other. For example, in this sentence, skiing in Hokkaido this winter and swimming on the beach. So we have a winter activity and a summer activity in one sentence. So skiing and swimming. So we can also use um, zu here. For example, we're not going skiing in Hokkaido this winter vacation. We will enjoy swimming on the beach in Australia instead. So see the contrast? We say, Natsuyasumi wa Hokkaido de ski wa. So suru or shinakute, not going to go skiing. So we say, ski wa sezu. We will not go skiing or we will not do skiing, but instead, Australia no umi de hoyoi de tanoshimu sumori da. But instead, we will go to Australia to swim on the beach. Natsuyasumi wa Hokkaido de ski wa sezu. Australia no umi de hoyoi de tanoshimu sumori da. Our next grammar point is nani nani te iru. We use this when we want to recall some information from the past which is relevant to present situation. We've learned how to use nani nani te iru in so many ways in the previous lessons. One is to state an ongoing event or action. For example, tegami o kaite imasu. I am writing a letter. So right now, that's an ongoing action. Another is to state a resultant state. For example, kare wa kekkon shite He is married. Another one is to indicate habitual action, something that happens regularly. For example, mainichi jogging wo shite I jog every day. And lastly is to indicate the state of a noun. For example, doa ga aite The door is open. So now let's take a look on some examples on how to use this uh, to recall information from the past. So here are some examples. For example, Mount Fuji hasn't erupted for a long time. It may happen very soon. So we see here two people are talking and maybe they came to the topic that, oh, um, Mount Fuji is about to um, erupt very soon because it hasn't erupted for a long time. So we can say, Fujisan wa nagai aida. Our verb is to erupt. Funka suru. So we say, funka shite inai. Hasn't erupted. Then, mo sugu funka suru kamo shirenai. It may erupt very soon. Fujisan wa nagai aida. Funka shite inai. Mo sugu funka suru kamo shirenai. 
So it's related to the present time because they think that this may happen very soon. Another example, Alice lived in America when she was a child. That's why she's fluent in English. So that, so the people are talking about Alice right now and her ability to speak fluent English. We say, Alice wa kodomo no toki America ni sundeimasu. So she lived in America. So here we are using the present tense. But of course, in this case, we can say sundeimashita. Again, if it's related to the current situation, we can use the teiru form. Followed by nano de ego ga pera pera desu. That's why she is now fluent in English. Arisu wa kodomo no toki Amerika ni sundeimasu. Nano de ego ga pera pera desu. Another example. I haven't seen my family for a long time. I'm planning to go back to see them next year. Watashi wa nagai aida kazoko ni aete inai. Hasn't seen or hasn't been able to meet them. Aete inai. Rainen ai ni kairu tsumori desu. Watashi wa nagai aida kazoko ni aete inai. Rainen ai ni kairu tsumori desu. And for our bonus grammar point, we have Nani nani nanka do or nani nani nanka do desu ka to be more polite. How do we use this pattern? We have noun plus nanka do or nanka do desu ka. For example, what do you want to eat for dinner? How about sushi? So you are suggesting sushi for dinner. We say, bangohan wa nani tabetai? What do you want to eat for dinner? Sushi nanka do. How about sushi? So here, we don't want to be too pushy with the idea, but we are just giving suggestion in, in a mild uh, manner. Another example, where should we have the year-end party? If it's value for money, how about anniversary cruise? I think it's good. We say, wa doko ga ii ka na? So the speaker is asking for suggestion. And the other speaker might suggest, how about anniversary cruise? Kospa nara. Kospa is short for cost performance, meaning the value for money. Kospa nara. Anniversary cruise. Nanka. How about? Nanka ii tomo yo. So we can say nanka ii tomo yo, or we can also say nanka do desu ka? Now, it's time for you to try. Introduce a famous person using the pattern nani nani wa nani nani toshite shirarete iru. For example, Michael Jackson wa king of pop toshite shirarete iru. Please write your answers in the comment section below. Hai, otsukare sama deshita. Kyo no lesson wa dou deshita ka? 役に立ったら、LIKE ボタンを押してください。もしコメントとか質問があれば、ぜひ下に書いてくださいね。I hope you learned something today. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future lessons. If you want to support this channel even more, please consider becoming my patron to my Patreon page where you can get the lesson PDF and other study materials. And again, I want to thank all my Patreons. 本当にありがとうございます。Thank you so much for your continued support. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I will see you in the next one. またね Special shout out and thank you to our elite scholars Cornelius, Constantine, and Serio. And to our study buddies Paul, Taras, Stephanie, Peggy, and Jared. And to all our Nihongo students, 本当にありがとうございます。